My name is Michelle Roberts. I'm the Academic Director at AGSM, the Australian Graduate School of Management, and Associate Dean at the University of New South Wales, Sydney Business School. At AGSM, we're one of the oldest MBA schools in the world, one of the largest MBA schools in the world. We have an executive MBA, an online MBA, MBAX, which is ranked fourth in the world in the Financial Times online MBA rankings. And we have a full-time MBA. And the program starts once a year on the 1st of May. Um, it's a small, carefully curated cohort of 50 to 60 people. And um, it is, it's got a wonderful career support running through it um, and lots of electives to choose from. And that final electives term, as I mentioned, could be done overseas. The students that come to us um, are some of the most diverse students in the world. We travel around the world reaching out to people. Wherever you are, we want you if you are diverse and inclusive leaders. So we're really looking for, um, for people who are more sustainable leaders, who want to build a better, more diverse, more su sustainable world. Um, they tend to be slightly older than um, US and European programs. We have an average of nine years, work, nine years work experience at the start of the program. And we just got ranked number one in the world in the Financial Times Global MBA ranking for sector diversity. So we really carefully curate and find people from the largest number of industry sectors and the largest number of countries. Um, and we're very strong on gender diversity too. We're at 46% for this year's cohort and I'm, I'm looking hard for that final few percent to get gender equality in the programme. So when we talk about inclusion at AGSM, we're talking about finding good leaders wherever they are. So we look for leaders from diverse backgrounds and we, for example, we look for leaders from the military, from elite athletes, um, but we also look for leaders throughout the world. So we look for leaders in regions that might be underrepresented in traditional MBA programs. So particularly the developing world, um, Africa, for example. Um, and we use our scholarships to facilitate um, candidates from those backgrounds. But we also have a large number of scholarships for representatives of the LGBTIQ plus community um, and for women, of course. When we talk about inclusive leadership, at AGSM we're very focused on building a more sustainable world. And for us that means as we transition to clean energy, as we reinvent the economy, it has to be more inclusive. We have to get it right. If we're going to come up with, with a new economy, with new business models with new value chains. They have to be more inclusive this time. And the developing world, the developing economies must benefit in this transition. So we focus on inclusivity in a multi-dimensional way. Even in our orientation program and foundations program, you'll be welcomed by First Nations people. And you'll have training um, in your three-week foundations program we include training in diversity. You'll do ally training to be a strong ally for members of the LGBTIQ plus community. You'll have First Nations cultural training. Um, and we make sure that our leaders understand how to, they understand what, what best practice looks like in, in inclusivity. So this is a really great question, can you be do you have to come to AGSM as someone who is passionate about inclusion and sustainability? Um, and to some extent that's, that's not entirely the case. We do find that there are people who um, they're interested in sustainability but they haven't had a lot of experience in it. They might be interested in inclusivity but they haven't been in environments that championed it yet. And so at AGSM we're all on a journey and we're all learning all the time how to be more inclusive, how to be more sustainable. So if it's something that really appeals to you, 
If you want to be a purpose-driven leader, if you want to care about something more than just making money, AGSM is a wonderful school for you to come to, but you don't have to be an expert in this to come and join us. We are inclusive to everyone wherever they are on their journey. So Sydney itself is a very inclusive place to live um, and have your career. You'll, you might know that Sydney is the home of World Pride this year and AGSM is a sponsor of World Pride. But um, even beyond World Pride, the organisations that we partner with all year are um, organisations that are seeking to find leaders who are more inclusive. Um, and it's certainly um, a very diverse community here in Sydney. Um, I think one of the examples of that is if you look at the way Australia treats its international students, it is very supportive of international students. We have um, some of the most generous um, visa arrangements for international students in the world. So if you complete AGSM's extension program, we have a one-year full-time MBA and then a one-year extension. If you complete extension, which is two years, um, so that's two years in total, on completion of your two years at AGSM, you have access to a five-year post-study work visa. So you get to remain in Australia and work for five years leading into permanent residency. So that's kind of an example, I think, of um, how welcoming Australia is to international students. And of course, it's a very safe um, and lovely place to live. In terms of the breakdown of the AGSM full-time cohort, we usually have 50% Aussies and then 50% international students. So it's, it is unusual in having so many um, local students, but it's that one-year program is incredibly appealing to people that just want to hit pause on their work and then get through that MBA with all of the added extras that you get in a, in a full-time uh, full MBA program and then get back into work within 12 months. The biggest recruiters from AGSM's MBA programme are the consulting firms, McKinsey, Bain, BCG, LEK, Strategy, and these are the big employers in the programme. The second biggest sector is tech, of course. Sydney is one of the global tech, tech hubs. Um, and it's also, um, Sydney is the startup capital of Australia, and we have a lot of unicorns here in Sydney, and we're perfectly positioned with that gateway into Asia. So a lot of our students leave for consulting, but a lot will go into tech or into sort of scale-ups um, is somewhere that, that the students tend to target. We do get a lot of students join AGSM wanting to be founders. And our university is, um, it has a very extensive entrepreneurial stack across campus. We recruit more successful, we um, graduate more successful founders than any other Australian university. Um, and so we do get a lot of students join us because they want to be a founder. And indeed we offer support to founders for life as an alum. Um, and there are a number of competitions and ways of accessing funding and mentorship and support as a founder in our program. Um, Australians are definitely uh, different in their approach. And I, you know, I say that as someone that came from the UK and, and worked in London for many years in, in industry. It's definitely more relaxed and fun. So Australians praise, uh, Australians prioritise lifestyle. So I think a sense of being fun and relaxed is important, not taking yourself too seriously. Australians are very humble, um, so they tend not to like people um, pushing themselves a, a lot. They tend to just value you being warm and inclusive and welcoming and, and humble. So what is different about the AGSM experience? I think there's a number of things. Firstly, it is a very small intimate cohort of only 50 to 60 people. So one of my students told me last week it's like getting married. Um, and another, but you know, because everyone has been sort of hand-picked, another student said it's like walking into a room at a party where you meet a really interesting person that you want to talk to, but everyone in the cohort's like that, because they've all been 
chosen quite carefully for who they are and what they bring to that wonderful cohort experience. So it's incredibly personal um, and you'll sense that right from the um, get-go in the admissions process. It is very, very personal and it remains like that throughout the entire program. And we still, people keep in touch, you know, whenever they travel and um, they check in and so it is that, that intimate cohort. Another aspect of the AGSM experience that is very different and remarkable is the international course experience. And again, we've been ranked within the top 10 programs in the world for that repeatedly. And that's really because you can, probably 70% of our students will go on international exchange for a third of their MBA. So you're joining an Australian program with that proximity in Asia, with all of the benefits that that brings, but you're doing a third of your program in the US or Europe or in another part of Asia. So you're getting to do the HSM program, but you're also getting to go to Chicago Booth or Kellogg, NYU Stern, London Business School, um, or you know, National, uh, NUS or HCUST. So it's, it's an, a very, very international experience that you can have. But we're also a member of the Global Network for Advanced Management, which Yale University run. And almost every student in the program would do a Global Network Week. Many of them do two Global Network Weeks. So that means that you jet off for a week and you get an elective done at Oxford University or Yale University or UC Berkeley. And it's a fun week with lots of social, cultural experiences. Or you can do our Global Network Week and um, then you get to host all of the incoming students, which is fun. So I think that that international exposure is the second piece that's very special. And I think the third thing is our focus on sustainability. For the last three years, we've been embedding sustainability throughout the whole program. So we began by creating a pre-MBA um, primer on sustainability and how we can transition to a more sustainable economy. And then we began by writing a primer at the beginning of every course at AGSM. So when you're learning finance, it begins by learning about sustainable finance. When you're studying marketing, it begins by talking about sustainable marketing. What does it even mean to grow sustainably? Um, are there limits on consumption? You know, how can we get consumers to, to consume more sustainably? So it begins um, with sustainability before we learn anything else in each of our courses. And we also have an option for our full-time students to go through to uh, a final um, portfolio in Viva. And if they succeed, if they pass that Viva, they become fellows of responsible management and get the post-nominals FRM. So sustainability is that third piece that feels, um, it feels ever present and very powerful and unifying at AGSM. I think we've done a lot of work on trying to build leaders who have a purpose and a sense of purpose. And we focus on that from the outset we help people to find their purpose. We help them to find what they love and we help them to, to build that into their life. So I think that you can find that to some extent. And it's something that is very rewarding at AGSM. When I came out of industry into, into MBA programs, it did feel like you could be a fantastic leader with a very successful career and all the rewards of career success while generating no value for the community and no value whatsoever for society. Indeed, you could do whatever you liked to the community and to the society and to the planet and be incredibly successful in your career. And we really wanted to create a different kind of leader where you would only succeed by also creating value for the society and the, and the planet. And I think that leaders emerging from AGSM have that sense of balance, that need to build strong career, but also strong society and planet. So I, I think you can sense that in the leaders that we graduate at AGSM.